Well, let's delve into this and, and look at what's happening in Kenya. We also talked about their markets earlier. We saw that there was a deep drop yesterday uh, with Dominic Omundi. He is a senior business reporter at the Nation Media Group, joins us from Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Hi, Dominic. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, so I, I don't know if to say congratulations on the drop in, in inflation in February, but I, I guess we, we would know if to say congratulations when we see it reflect in, in uh, the everyday buy and sell. You are right there, uh, and thank you for having me. Yes, uh, until we see, I mean, people tend to be skeptical, in, not, not just in Kenya, but most African countries, there is certain a certain skepticism when it comes to the numbers that come from the uh, from the authorities. Um, so people will tend to say, uh, but I'm not feeling it. Uh, but the truth is that the numbers coming from the national statistician shows that inflation has been going down uh, from uh, a five-year high in 2022 when it touched 9.6%. Uh, uh, it's been going down. Now it's at around 6.3%, uh, which is, again, a 23-month uh, low. Uh, and that is because of the rains that uh, the country uh, recorded uh, in earlier, I mean, towards the end of uh, last year, which boosted uh, agriculture, which, again, plays a very huge uh, uh, part in uh, the Kenya's economy. So most people employed in the agriculture and, and constitutes around more than a fifth of the Kenya's uh, GDP. Mm. But what are investors saying? What kind of conversation are they having? Because we saw the um, stock exchange, Nairobi Stock Exchange. And, I, I mean, I think it was late last year, it hit 100. But we've seen it consistently around 92, 93. Now it's dropped to 92. What is the sentiment around investors? <laughs> Uh, so, when you talk about the real economy and, and, and the markets, uh, it, those are two different bargains when it comes to Kenyan economy. You realize that uh, the benchmark index, the uh, NSC 20, is not dominated by uh, sectors that are big in the Kenyan economy, that's agriculture. And so, the sentiments that will tend to uh, influence investor uh, sent, uh, investor confidence are, are really different from uh, what is uh, what is happening in the real economy because the real economy is dominated by agriculture. Uh, the, the, the national security exchange, the market is dominated by uh, the telecommunications sector, which is general, basically a Safaricom, uh, Kenya's biggest telecommunications provider. But the sentiments really are driven by different factors. So you're looking at the exchange rate. Um, there's a huge volatility, even though the shilling has strengthened against the dollar. Uh, that volatility is still there. Uh, 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 there are political considerations to look at. Um, the uh, things to do with interest rates, uh, they, 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 they still not attractive to most investors. So there's, 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 there's a, a breakdown of sorts between what is happening in the economy and what is happening in the markets. Mm. So is, um, does this come as an advantage or non-advantage? I mean, when you say what's happening in the market is different from what's going on in the real, real sector, is that, is that a good or a bad thing for the economy? Well, I have to say it's not a good thing because um, until a time when uh, uh, as a country we get to fix uh, this disconnect and have as many firms uh, being listed which are playing a bigger role in the economy, then, then we will start saying that really uh, the, some of the uh, capital markets indicators are really uh, barometers of how the health of the economy and how the economy is doing. So it's not a good thing because it doesn't give a clear indicator of how the economy is doing. Uh, Yes, partly because if you look at a sector like agriculture, uh, most of it is uh, largely informal. So you don't have companies listing uh, from the agricultural sector because it's dominated by companies that are informal. Uh, but 
going forward, what needs to be done is for, 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 for the authorities and the country at large to do so much so that they can formalize that sector, make it big, make it attractive, uh, have some of the companies being listed and, and so, so that then we could be, it could be easy for investors to track how the economy is doing using uh, the NSC as, as a barometer. Do you, do you see the government doing that, working towards, you know, that? Yes, there's been some movement towards that, um, and, and a lot of things are happening. Uh, a lot of companies are trying, uh, even the small ones are trying to, to, to formalize the businesses and grow big, and you know, basically by taking advantage of the larger East African community market. Uh, and that means doing a lot of things to formalize your businesses. That means, and, and also just bringing in some of the latest technologies and doing the business and growing your business. You treat agriculture not as um, uh, a subsistence uh, kind of uh, activity, but, but agribusiness, and so make it big. And, 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 and that way then you, you, you will see uh, 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 some of those sectors scaling up and, and playing a bigger role in, in the formal economy and even having them listed uh, at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. All right, thank you so much. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's an African country and we know there are some common challenges around, but thank you for sharing your thoughts and time with us this afternoon. Uh, Dominic Omodi, Senior Business Reporter with the Nation Media Group. Thank you. Thank you.